guys, Denise Gossett here. Okay, so my third weekly chatting about what I do as an actor for the week. This week I renewed my subscription to Showfax. If you don't know what Showfax is, um, if you go to actorsaccess.com, you can see breakdowns and submit on breakdowns and Showfax is partnered with them to provide sides. And for the one fee, I think it's like $68 a year, it allows you to do unlimited submissions with reels, headshots, resume, and then when you do get auditions, you can get the sides for free. The sides are your section of a script that you need to audition with. So I renewed that. Um, of course, I did all my usual submissions, which you should be doing every day. And they're on things like Actors Access, LA Casting, Casting Networks, Now Casting, Backstage West, IMDb, all of those. That should be a given. If you are pursuing acting, that should be a given. Seriously. Like, that shouldn't even be on your list. That should be the first thing you do when you get up go through those sites, check it again later in the day, possibly again in the evening. That's your job. You should be doing that. I had two TV auditions this week. Really nice, big, chunky ones, so I was very excited about that. Um, I read more scripts because, as you know, I am looking to find one to star in and produce. And so I read some more scripts today. I still have a bunch to read that have been sent to me, but I'm slowly getting through them all. I added more pictures to IMDb, and what I mean by this, not just headshots, I'm going through past projects, and if it's a film or a TV show that I took some shots that I personally own or that were given to me that are not up on IMDb, I'm adding them. It'll let you add them if you're uh, IMDb Pro, and I think it's important to have as much information or pictures out there about you as you're pursuing your acting. So I went through different indie projects that I've done and I added some pictures, which was fun to reminisce about those old projects as well. Let's see, um, I did some writing because as I told you, I am starting to try to write a script. I have a pretty decent idea and I'm hoping I can somehow get it down on paper myself. I have an outline so far, and I'm going to start working from there. Uh, taped, I taped a vlog on how I prep for my auditions. You can see it on my YouTube channel. And, um, oh, another thing I do every few weeks, because it'll give you, like, the next 14 days of what's on, is I go to tvguide.com, and I look up my shows or movies so that I know when they're airing, so that I can promote it. Um, it's funny because people will say to me, gosh, you're working so much. And the funny thing is, is a lot of them are past projects. They just happen to be re-airing. So it looks like I'm constantly busy, which is what we want. And there you go, that's my week. And um, hopefully we'll have some bookings coming up that I can tell you about. But I hope you're doing all the things you should be doing because whether it's acting or producing, directing, whatever it may be that you want to be doing, you need to work on it every day. Even if, you know, sometimes the weekends we get busy with family things or whatever else is going on. But I always try to at least make sure I'm getting in, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, even on the weekends. But during the week, it's like every second I can spare is spent on pursuing and promoting and all of those crazy things you have to do as an actor nowadays. All right, have a great week.